Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekend bonus read and it is from Friday the 3rd to Sunday the 5th of July 2020 for all signs. So as usual, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave what needs to be left. So, what do we have? Oh, beautiful. We have miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. I mean, it's kind of linked with the law of attraction, isn't it? Because if you have the positive action, you see yourself achieving the goal, then that's how the positive energy is rewarded by the universe. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Expect miracles. If you're feeling that it's not going to happen, there's a kind of message with the energy as well, around you, within you that may need to be addressed, as difficult as it is. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for the weekend? We have friends and colleagues. There might be helpful people in your life helping you through this. <laughs> and yeah, we have fun, joyous fun. You know, I just feel there's such a positive, uplifting energy. I mean, we're beginning to get out and connect again, aren't we? I mean, I know that we're a bit to and fro with the pandemic as well, but I'm just kind of feeling that things are beginning to look up, aren't they, generally? Um, and yeah, I'm just feeling this, certainly with miracles. I feel there's change collectively happening. Uh, which I have touched upon in the full moon reading, but I also feel maybe on an individual level, yeah, there could be just new connections, new opportunity coming into your life. It's interesting, bottom of that deck, we have intuition and manifestation. So I feel this is very much connecting to your intuition and really looking at what you want to change in your life because I feel the support, the energy is around you to make it happen. You know, and this is spirit. This is spirit energy. So, yeah, let's put that down there as well. Those are the quantum cards. Okay, the other one is the sacred traveler deck. So angels, what is the message, please, for the weekend? Message for the weekend, please. <laughs> for some of you, we have, there's something better, choose a new direction. And I feel this is to do with the trust your intuition. What's your instinct telling you to do? Because you have the power to change something that needs to be changed into something positive now. can be about making life choices, decisions, trusting your instinct on how you want to move forward. There may well be support there from friends, colleagues. Okay. What is the message, please? What is the message, please, Angel Spirits Guides, for the weekend? message for the weekend okay so we have the eight of cups we have the world eight of swords justice two of swords And the Six of Swords. <laughs> you know, this is really beautiful. And it's tying in with the really fun, joyous, happy, uplifting energy that I'm feeling from here. It feels like celebratory energy. Some kind of celebratory energy coming your way. And manifesting something where there's reasons to celebrate here. But it's almost kind of like there needs to be either a new direction or looking at a new solution in how to move forward because there's something better ahead. It's interesting, Justice is here, card of Libra, and we have the Eight of Cups here. 
Yes, justice can be to do with legal systems. You might be walking away from a legal a legal issue. I mean, obviously, things like divorce, separation of assets, um, work disputes. You know, all of this kind of thing where there could have been some letdown or disappointment or something that needed to that couldn't be sorted out on its own. It needed somebody to step in independently to sort it out, and that's what a judge does to restore balance and and really say what the truth of the situation is, maybe make a decision or choice. So some of you could have been walking away from a decision that has been made in terms of legal situations. But you know what I'm feeling with this energy as well? There's a feeling of reap what you sow. Again, this feels very much law of attraction to me because there's a cause and effect to justice. It is what you put into something is, is what you get back. You reap what you sow. So. For some of you, I feel it is about putting your energy in the right direction now. If you have walked away from something, something that might not have lived up to expectation or promise, and for whatever reason you've walked away, said goodbye to it, closed one door, justice is absolutely about opening another door. You know, it is the 11 card. You know, and we know the 11 card can be all to do with instant manifestation, blessings from the universe. You know, 11 is a powerful number, isn't it? So I certainly feel for some of you that there's karma around you. Um, positive karma, I feel. It is about walking away maybe from something, for whatever reason, and putting your energy, your effort into manifesting something new because you'll reap what you sow. And I feel it's in a good way. Two of Swords is a card of indecision. This person can't make up their mind, they can't decide. They don't feel they have the right facts in front of them in order to make a decision or choice, in order to understand how to move forward in a situation so they remain stuck. Now, the message here is that this person is blindfolded. So, the message here is that the, the, the answer isn't going to be in your external environment. It comes from within. It's the Moon in Libra energy. And again, it's next to the Libra and card. So for some of you, this can be to do with relationships. I mean, it can also be to do with work relationships. You might be working, walking away from a job or a relationship of the past, you know. Um, some of you need to go within because the guidance comes from within. That's why the moon is in the right-hand corner. The moon is intuitive guidance. And if you listen to that, you understand how to claim the victory over whatever this situation has been. I feel stepping through one phase of your life into another. The world is about endings. It is about endings of cycles. There is an accomplishment to this. Um, you have passed the Saturnian test. We have a Saturnian ring here. So, and claim a victory. So. I kind of feel you've learnt lessons from the past, you're walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore towards something better and you're being told there's something better ahead. So now is your time to put your energy, your focus, your effort into opening a new door. And this is absolutely somebody stepping through an old phase of their life into something new they're crossing the finishing line into something new. So I feel it's a transition from drawing a line into something towards something new. It's interesting. So we have the Eight of Cups. The Cups energy is to do with our emotions and feelings. The Eight of Swords. The Swords energy is to do with our mind. So, you know, and I feel that is keeping you stuck. The eight is a need for change so and mastery. So there's a need to master your mind here, to master your thoughts, because this can be someone saying, I don't really know how to move forward. There's a, there's a real feeling of feeling stuck here. You know, and the eight of swords is inhibited thinking. So it's almost kind of like, oh, well, if I go down that direction, oh, that might happen. If I go down that direction, that might happen. Or if I do that, that, and that, well, that might happen. So you remain stuck. Do you know what I mean? And it is that lack of focus or committed route to moving forward 
that is keeping you stuck. It is that inhibited thinking of maybe what ifs and possibilities that haven't even happened. Uh, you're almost kind of like preempting the situation and being stuck. And I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I feel it's like there's a preempting energy here. The preempting of what might happen is keeping you stuck. And the message here is that there's a need now to draw a line under a situation and walk through a new door. It is a message of detaching from what's gone, from what, ha what has gone, moving out of troubled waters towards calmer waters. I certainly feel for some of you, this person is walking away, but they're walking towards something better. And that's what this, this card is representing. It can represent travel, relocation, life transitioning, moving from A to B. Um, and you're in that process of just being in that in-between stage of, of, of really getting clarity in the direction that you're going. So I feel for some of you that you need to get some stability or equilibrium in the mind, some balanced thinking, balanced thought. Because we have balance, we have the Libra energy here, which is all about balance. And also balancing of energy is your mind, your emotions, in order to really find the direction forward here as well. And, you know, this person is the Eight of Cups. I mean, you know, angel spirits guides do this to me all the time. <laughs> because we have the Eight of Cups, there is a missing cup here. And the Nine of Cups would be the wish fulfillment card. Your hopes, dreams and wishes. What you would and hope to expect miracles with. And the message is, it's coming your way. But you need to take action. You need to do something about your internal emotions you need to do something about your inhibited thinking i think certainly thought patterns the two of swords the eight of swords is really clouding your judgment in all in almost kind of like drawing a line into something and walking into a stepping into a new phase of your life and it's leading to this the ace of cups now this can be an opportunity that brings you great joy this can be new love this can be um self-love emotional rebirth. It can also be new pets, new friendships. It might well be what this friends and colleagues is all about because slowly but surely we might well be getting out there making new friendships, new love connections, uh, new connections in terms of work and you know business and everything as well. So I do feel this is about you are looking up, you are heading towards this wonderful new beginning, but it's something to do with your internal energy, in certainly in terms of your thought patterns in particular, that when you get that equilibrium in your mind, your thought patterns, you understand how to move forward towards this, and it's such an uplifting, happy, fulfilling energy. And this, first and foremost, is divine love being poured into you. You are the vessel, you are the cup. You are being shown love from the universe. And again, there is a final message, just to repeat this. The manifestation comes from trusting your intuition here, because this is an intuitive energy. This is an intuitive energy. So it's almost kind of like the direction comes from trusting your intuition. And put your energy now into what is going to bring you happiness, what is going to bring you joy, what is going to bring you what is going to change something that is negative to positive in your life? Um, yeah, it's such a beautiful energy. So I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message, please, for this reading before I pull the final message? Angel Spirits Guides, any other message for this reading? It's almost kind of like the miracle, the promise of something. Wonderful that you really want because the Ace of Cups is something that you really want. We all love the Ace of Cups. Um, it's within your grasp. So it is about putting your energy, your efforts into making it happen. And there's too many there. Okay, let's see what's turned over. Again, another message of fine balance. Because when you do, you open up to the flow of life. Uh, you know, it's an expansive energy, the temperance. And it also talks about new horizons, being the card of Sagittarius, the adventurer, and the archer. Any other message, please, Angel Spirits Guides, to finish off this reading? 
And there's something better ahead. That's what you're being told. Choose a new direction. If you're feeling down or feeling that lack of focus or feeling you don't know how to move on from something, yeah, the message is now is the time to step through that world energy. There is a victory here. There is a, an accomplishment. There is an achievement that you can have. Don't keep yourself stuck on the fence because the world card is a card of achievement, success, worldly success. It's very good in terms of money and career in particular. Um, it is the ending of a cycle. It's a victory wreath. It is somebody who is stepping through their victory because they've completed the challenges, the tests, the trials of the past cycle and now they're ready for the new cycle so they look back at the past journey but they're not hostage to it they're ready to step through to a new phase of their life and you know the Sagittarian energy for me here is new horizons as well Sagittarius fires the, their arrow into the sky and that arrow flies beyond the immediate visibility so this is about making peace accept what's gone in order to release and move forward to a beautiful, beautiful new beginning. Because that's what these cards are telling you. Two world cards. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the kind of message that they want to give me. Um, obviously, can't get any more specific uh, on that because the more cards I pull, they'll probably just give me the repeaters of what I've already got on the table. So I'm going to leave it there, but I will say it's an absolutely beautiful reading. And yeah, you see, bottom of the deck, I've got, <laughs> I've got six of swords. So yeah, as I say, I mean, it is, the main message is, you can be the achiever, you can accomplish, put your energy, reap what you sow, cause and effect. You have the power to make it happen now and open a new door. And I certainly feel for some of you, there is some achievement, celebration, um, accomplishment that's available to you now that is allowing you to move through to this new beginning. And it's to do with this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, lovely. I'm gonna just pull a final card to finish off the reading. Thank you. Abundance, lovely. So again, this is very good in terms of money and career, um, but also just feeling that fullness, you know? This is a feeling of, of lack, something missing, not fulfilled. So I just feel that whatever this is you're moving towards, whether it's money, career, or new love, or new relationships, or a new pathway, there is just fullness, a fullness and abundance, yeah, just a wholeness. The circles, just a wholeness that's waiting for you. So we have moved with the flow of abundance around and through you. And that's very much to do with law of attraction as well. Um, you know, what you put into something is what you get back. So make sure it's positive, positive energy as much as you can, because honestly, it really does make a difference between success and failure. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful weekend for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.